Good morning, good morning. We're back. Now, we talked about Ron's amazing uh, mean green mm -hmm. and the benefits that it has. But we're going to go a step further. We're going to make a green mean smoothie. We're going to take some of the great green mean. Put it in. Oh yeah. We're gonna also add some cucumbers that I've already previously sliced up. Cucumbers are low in calories. We're going to add a little bit of coconut milk. Now, coconut milk does have its own uh, health benefits. So, we're going to add two teaspoons of coconut milk. And since we're going to make this into a smoothie, we're going to add a little extra protein to it, which is going to be in the form of Greek yogurt. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. And make sure that you wide awake and don't need that coffee rush. We're going to add a little additional on top of the main green for additional kale. Now kale is good, is a good energy source because um, I'm being in the work that I do, I usually have to drink a lot of coffee to keep myself awake and uh, bright eyed and bushy tail. If I have a, a kale smoothie, I usually don't have to have caffeine at all. And it doesn't have none of the negative benefits uh, of caffeine. Caffeine gives you that initial rush and then you kind of crash almost like sugar but kale you have that energy rush and it slowly tempers off and you're like hmm i think i need another kale trick <laughs> and one more thing there's a lubricant as always we use like i like to use almond milk almond milk is very low in calories compared to traditional milk and now we're going to now blend this all up. Now, if you if this uh, if this smoothie isn't sweet enough for you, and smoothies are never should never really be designed to be uh, sweet. But if it's not sweet enough for you, you can always add a little splendor to it. Look at that. Look, 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 look at, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That. Oh, oh, goodness. And this is the mean green. Wow. That's not bad at all. Not at all. Now, you, you do taste the green plant base in it. If you want to make it a little bit sweeter, you could add either a little bit of almond milk, but I mean, uh, coconut milk, but be a little cautious with the coconut milk because even though like a quarter cup is like 80 calories but i'm my, my whole goal is to keep the calories down and to be able to enjoy it so you can always add splendor as a secondary sweetener it has or splendor like sugar it has zero calories so you can add the splendor to make an additional sweetness if you want to make it a little bit sweeter uh if you look at a comparable store bought, you get what 12 ounces, eight ounces, and this has like three, four hundred calories. You think of a mean green that has a fraction of that. Mm. It's like a it's like a veggie drink. And it's not bad at all. At all. Now this is something if you, you get tired of 
oh my gosh, I'm so tired of eat, eating the mean green at three, two times a day. You can literally make yourself a mean green smoothie. You can either add ice to it to make it chill, to make it a little bit thicker uh, or chiller. Uh, I'm working on, I'm still working on making a mean green ice cream. That's a work in progress. <laughs> but this is really, really good. And an excellent whip. So you can literally have this for breakfast and then have a mean green for lunch, for lunch. And then for dinner, you can have two ounce, two to four ounces of some type of protein, uh, not cooked, not fried, of course, air fried, preferably, or baked, like chicken, turkey, pork, uh, and then have maybe a little salad on the side, like a uh, uh, cucumber salad that I have videos on. You can also use that. Uh, like I said, it's normal to be a little hungry after you eat. If you constantly full, because you uh, once you get into this diet and you realize you, it, it will take a few weeks. Some some people said it takes even a month or two. You'll realize the little bit that you're eating, the hunger pains go away. You're like, oh my goodness, I'm already full. So you, what you're basically doing is you're retraining your brain and your stomach to accept smaller pieces, smaller amounts of food, and still be happy with it. It's a challenge. You're going to have to learn to live with it. But if you're looking for a better life. You know, think of this, most of us have children, most of us have loved ones, people that depend on us and love us. And if, if you want to live to be 70, 60, 70, 80 years down the road, you're going to have to change your diet. It is what it is. You can't, we as humans can no longer eat the way that we're eating in America with the fast food and eating McDonald's. You, I can eat, I can go literally, go get one McDonald's meal and that's all the calories I need to eat for the whole day. Well, maybe two, <laughs> because of my man. But, and then I'm, what, what, what about the third meal? I'm done. If I eat a third meal, that's surplus calories. And most of the stuff is fried, which also means my cholesterol is going to uh, uh, spike. Uh, this doesn't have any sugar and stuff, so it won't spike your, uh, you, you won't have a spike in sugar level, which means your diabetes be more in, under, in control. Uh, you won't have to worry about <sighs> extra cholesterol if you have high, high cholesterol. This, uh, the, these vegetables have so many health benefits that just try it for two weeks. That's all I'm asking. Two weeks, I give it a shot. And if you're not absolutely satisfied with it in two weeks, let me know and I'll tell you what you may need to change in. But I'm telling you, this is a life changing. Let me, let me get another bit, a little bit. Mm hmm. Yeah. This is it. So now we have a mean green smoothie. Again, I'm working on the mean green ice cream. Haven't perfected it yet, but when I do, I will post a video on it. Family, remember, eat healthy because we all want to see you 20 years from now. Take care. Bye.